I'd like to show you how to in terms of coding um, to read data from the web in uh, XML form so you need the uh, L uh, XML uh, package this slide <coughs> URL lib dot request dot URL open um, open the link that um, give the XML data and read the data into a variable namely XML and later on um, e3 dot from string and from string method read data from XML and create the XML structure which is uh, a tree structure then you can just simply use the find all method of the, uh, the uh, structure and here give it um, the eighth path query as we discussed um, in the lecture um, in the first eighth path query we query for date um, in the new date uh, node and later on we also we query um, BC three months in BC three month nodes. Then we take a look at um, uh, the variable TBU three months. The length of uh, <coughs> this is 251. So we have uh, 251 reads um, in this variable. We can access to uh, any um, element. Um, or any read uh, by the index for example the uh, put number 12 in here uh, would give us the uh, corresponding read um, also apply the text uh, property uh, to give us um, the text and not just uh, the element you can see that uh, the return result is in the form of a string then probably um, if we need to compute anything then uh, we would need to remove the quotes then here uh, I form I create um, a pandas uh, data frame for um, uh, just the read so this is uh, this structure is called uh, list comprehension this is a for loop for read in TBU three months okay, this is uh, basically uh, a structure that um, contain many rates so I look for uh, rate in TBU uh, three months and for each rate I return uh, the text property of the rate and convert it into float also I name that column um, three months in this data frame there is only one column and I'd like to show a few uh, first rows in the data frame I do the same thing with um, with it new date here is a structure that uh, has many dates in there so I have a loop for D D is basically a variable uh, iterate um, iterates uh, f through uh, new date a structure okay, for, so for each date for each date okay, I return the text property of the date and I, I only uh, get the uh, first 10 uh, positions because as you can see here, 10 position would be sufficient for uh, showing the date. And then um, I show a few rows. And eventually I uh, concat uh, those two um, data frames together. I give it a list. Uh, in the list, I have two data frames one data frame for date and the other is for rate. And I have to specify to say that. I want to concat the net on exit one.
not HC0. HC1 would concatenate um, the two data frames horizontally. And I want to show a few rows. And it, here you can see we have two columns, date and three months. Now let's see how we uh, um, pass JSON data. This is another example. Um, but now use JSON data. In order to um, pass JSON data, you got to import JSON package and then open the URL and load the, the, the um, JSON um, data using JSON.load. So if you, we, we just print out the data we got, uh, we can see this is basically um, JSON data and this is basically in the form of um, a dictionary and a dictionary may have uh, sub-dictionaries in there. So um, we can see here this is a key metadata, right? Uh, if we get, we want to get uh, its value we would give um, th this dictionary the key metadata uh, and it returns the whole block uh, value of that key this block is also a dictionary so then you can um, access deeper in that uh, structure uh, if you want to access to let's say um, the symbol, right? Then uh, give it the key. Okay, so once you you get uh, this block, once you get this block, this block is a dictionary. Then uh, give that dictionary the key, which is two symbol. It would return um, the symbol for uh, that stock. And then if you want to access the the time series, then uh, it is an uh, another key time series daily um, it returns a block here um, this block actually uh, has many sub blocks for uh, multiple days down and down if you want to and and, and that block is also additionary right you, we can see this curly uh, brace open uh, uh, curly brace meaning uh, it is a dictionary then uh, if you want to access to a, a specific day then um, give that uh, dictionary the uh, key that you want to get access to then you, you, uh, you can get access to uh, the block in there right? the value uh, for that key which is also a dictionary right? following that style uh, we can access to open price, high price, low price, close price, and volume. And here is what I meant: okay? data, metadata, and symbol would return the symbol for Microsoft data time series daily, and give it um, the key for the specific day. You get all the prices. Um, measure the length using the length function then uh, following the same uh, steps uh, to create a frame the first column is date we, we discussed this uh, before um, this is a list uh, comprehension we loop uh, iterate for day in uh, data time series daily and for each day we return the day and stored in this uh, data frame and we name the that column date show some uh, rows this is what we have we do the same thing for price <coughs> Here we do the same thing. We have uh, a list comprehension. Um, we look for day in data time series daily. Uh, what do we get? We uh, would return data time series daily uh, day 
So up here we have um, the dictionary for um, each day within the loop and then we give it the key that we'd like to access to which is open price right? one open meaning the open price um, then we store everything in open df and show some rows from there what we get is here and uh, then later we concatenate those uh, data frames uh, horizontally to get uh, a data frame of two columns date and open price uh, and uh, we'd like to uh, plot the uh, price, open price, um, uh, vs the date. So here, instead of using uh, matplotlib for plots, uh, I want to use Altair. Altair, Altair is actually very um, uh, much better for uh, displaying. I will need to um, install Altair. Um, if I like to show more than 5,000 rows, I would need to have this line in, otherwise it will complain. And uh, then I use the chart uh, method to, for example, uh, plot just 20 days using uh, mark line method. Within the encode method, I specified uh, what is X and what is Y in uh, my data frame, in the full price DF data frame. So X is the date column and Y is the open price column. I can plot the full price data frame uh, for just month instead of day. And for each, for each month, I plot the mean of open price uh, within that month. So my encode um, parameters would have something like this: uh, x for uh, for uh, x uh, axis and y for the y axis. For each month, I have the mean of open price. And Q is for quantitative to tell uh, out there that now uh, y is a uh, quantitative data. I use the month function to plot just uh, the month instead of individual dates. Now finally, um, I'll talk about uh, how to read data from web and this is the application, uh, the, the example we uh, talked about before uh, in the lecture example. Uh, in my browser, I uh, enter the laptop, the word laptop in the search and enter and then I pick the link uh, and put in here so that the link could get only um, laptops not other kind of products so I have HTML data right and then use um, the from string method of um, the HTML uh, module and read the uh, HTML data into uh, a variable. And later on, um, that variable actually is, uh, has a, a tree structure. Then I use the XPath uh, method, give it the XPath query. So in the XPath query, I query for uh, all div uh, tags, which has the class uh, attribute equal to this and I want to return the text property um, and I query uh, for all the nodes and later on I um, created a frame for it right? and name the column uh, laptop names stored in the uh, in name df and show some rows here I have uh, a data frame uh, with the column name, laptop names, and uh, all the names of products, uh, of laptops in here. I can do the same thing uh, to query um, data for laptop prices. Uh, here I filled in uh, a different 
text path query and I get um, the data I create a uh, data frame for it and I can concatenate them uh, horizontally to create one single data frame with two columns laptop names and laptop price and later I can use my data for uh, other further analysis